Well, I mean, that's certainly the big discussion point going into this, whether the meeting might result in a thaw in a Gulf crisis has lasted some two and a half years now. According to Qatar state media, Prime Minister Sheikh Abdullah bin Nasser Al Thani is attending. That in itself is significant, but at this stage, still only symbolic. It is the highest level of representation at the annual meeting in two years and could be interpreted as the most concrete sign yet of a potential thaw on the horizon. Since June 2017, a Saudi-led boycott has imposed economic and political restrictions on Qatar amid allegations the Gulf state backs terrorism. Doha has long denied the charges. Nonetheless, the dispute has created a major rift amongst the former Gulf allies. The summit was also held in Riyadh last year, then only the Qatar foreign minister attended. And at the GCC summit in 2017, Saudi Arabia only sent a junior delegation. So this is the most senior coming together for some time of high-level delegations. It is probably not a coincidence that it comes in the wake of a year of attacks and incidents in the Gulf that Saudi Arabia has largely blamed on Iran. But any symbolism of the Qatari Premier's attendance will feel a bit empty if there's no concrete measures taken to mend the economic and political rift that's grown between Doha and Riyadh.